Paul, sometimes uh, opening days can be just an extension of pre-season. That wasn't. Uh, I think I just heard described it as a war, and I think that's <laughs> it was a battle out there, absolutely. Yeah, it was a battle that, that started with um, a lot of football. And there was a lot of football throughout the whole game. There was a, a lot of sort of, I thought, fluid play. I mean, it wasn't a lot of structured play, but a lot of fluent play. Uh, play both sets of players very committed. Um, I think when you go 2 0 up away from home, there's a couple of things that are going to happen. Um, one, the home team are going to respond, or you get another and you sort of, you sort of walk away with it. I think it was uh, the goal they scored in 40 minutes was very much, very much um, a sign of what was to come. And I think at that point they go in at half time, sort of reboot. And I think we knew it was going to be very, very difficult. And we had quite a few players out there today who, who were still building up the fitness and their work. And I don't think we're at our peak by any means. Um, so I'm delighted to get three points, even with all those sort of. Um, uh, challenges we had today to try to get 11 players through the game and of course we had two players injured which didn't make life made life a lot harder for us perfect start really you've got uh, uh, obvious penalty i mean from where we were that didn't i mean that was something like from the world cup that really with uh, george, with george williams being dragged down yeah it was it was clear i mean it, george got goal side of his man and he pulled him back so yeah. well done for the referee for giving the given what he saw he obviously went in our favor today um it's probably a um a, uh, a little a little pointer for players this season. Uh, I'm t talking about my players now, just to be careful, because referees are clearly going to be a lot uh, more vigilant with that type of thing. We benefited it from today. And then to score a second within that next 10 minute period is a really vital moment in the game. You know, To go 2-0 up is, is a big moment in any game, and we did it pretty quickly. Um, some good football, and uh, you know, I, I, I think we did enough to score another goal today. Um, and, but um, on the other hand, they had enough pressure, maybe to score another one themselves. So they had pressure, we had the odd breakaway, and um, whatever it is, we score one more than them, that's what it really matters. Uh, their goal from, from Dan Gardner, he was, he was hitting them from all sorts of areas, and they were flying over the bar. I suppose the law of averages suggest that if you hit <laughs> six, seven shots, one of them might fly in. So even the goal you conceded, I suppose, can you have too many qualms about? Um, I think as a manager, you look at any any goal you look back and there's probably more, a lot of small mistakes leading up to it I'm sure I'll do that um, but I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about it you know players are out there to play they'll make honest mistakes and whether we were in the right place or quick enough to the ball we just need to make sure we do it more than more than not and uh, it was a lovely finish but it was certainly something they needed and we didn't need going into half time and again, the way your team battled, opening day of the season, like as I say, sometimes it, they can kind of be fairly low-key affairs, but one with a big white bandage around him in Jordan Houghton, Conor McGrandall's being stretched off. Um, I mean, looking ahead to the next game, obviously you're going to have one or two down possibly, but but uh, you know, does it show the players what they're in for this year in, your, in League Two? You obviously know it better than, than a lot of these the players you've got with you, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's... Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I forgot Jordan Houghton. Played the game with, I mean, he had stitches at half time. Uh, Peter Paul went off in the first 10 minutes with a twisted ankle. I mean, he, he, he crossed the ball in the first minute and, and got a knock to his ankle and he's sort of gone over on his ankle. So, um, we are, I think, <laughs> more than I would have hoped for today. Uh, thank, thank goodness we haven't got a game Tuesday. At least it gives me four or five days now to think about who's fit and ready to go for next week. And uh, managing a new team today for the first time in over a decade as a manager, do you? just come naturally did was it strange well, I've just answered that question already strangely no I'm sort of football manager stood in the technical area 90 minutes of football and my team right there to beat the opponent and actually strangely it was just like any other game um, and forgive me this is not this is this is the reality of it it's me and my players against the opponent and that's exactly how it felt and I'm you know representing another club but when it comes to three o'clock you know, we were in that we were in that zone today, and it felt just like a normal game of football. We desperately wanted the three points, and we and we did just enough today. Thank you. How impressed were you with the way your side finished the game, uh, particularly with ten men and, and 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 under pressure as you were? Yeah, ten men. Arguably, there were two two there that I'd like to have taken off because they were they were struggling as well. So um, it was. A, I think there were some big big performances today. I was really really impressed with defensively some of them. They did a, did, a, did a fabulous job, and I thought we. Um, we stuck to our task at the end. I mean, you know, pressure, pressure, pressure. You can't go on forever doing that. But um, we just about got over the line. And there, there's going to be many ways to win a game of football. And today was one of them. We got in front. We're away from home um, against a very good team. 
very strong team today and uh, we did enough and that's really what it's about doing enough and beating the, op the opponent and just hopefully we can do that more than we than, than not this year do you think there's a, a few signs of nerves in 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 the defense at times um it was quite a hectic game i mean it's uh, if, if, you know, if we break it down it wasn't a perfectly fluent game but i thought generally i wanted them to maybe to be a bit more composed have more possession but I, I'm, I'm being a bit harsh really they didn't have to defend well <laughs> they got their, they put their bodies in there and got their head on the ball first and yeah I'm delighted with them um, transfer window closes on Thursday and we won't have to ask you these questions anymore um, but how are, you, how are you expecting the next week to pan out I think it's going to be it's going to be oh, it's going to be a circus I, I don't know a, a question I don't know it's, it's the first time it's been this early every transfer window normally ends in a panic anyway four or five days Something's going to crop up that we don't know about or we're not prepared for. Um, we've just got to be ready on, on our toes to react to whatever happens and take an opportunity if it presents itself. Um, think about the business and what we're going to do over the next five months until the next window. So I don't know yet. And that's not me dodging the, the question. I don't yet know what's going to happen in the next four or five days. We're just ready to take an opportunity if it's the right one for us. And uh, there's a lot that can happen. If it were to shut in, well... At half past five, say now. Um, would you be happy with the way your 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 team is now? Yeah, I am. And like I say, they um, they showed today a lot of guts and a long long sort of five months now until the next window. But I'm more than happy with what they done. It's my eleven players out there playing against the opposition, and they gave 100%. And I thank them for that after the game. So it's a good place to start with any team.